Let's cross now to Patrick Fock in uh, Beijing. Tell us more about the significance of this resolution, Patrick. Well, the resolution is just part of the gathering that's happening over the next four days. It is top of the agenda, though, and as you say, it's going to determine on how history, uh, the history of the Chinese Communist Party is taught. It's really expected to uh, talk about the successes and achievements, and particularly important also for President Xi Jinping will be unveiling the historic resolution uh, for a couple of reasons, really. First of all, because there have only been two such uh, historical resolutions in the past. So uh, by delivering it this time round, President Xi is putting himself on a par with uh, party titans like Deng Xiaoping and also uh, Mao Zedong. But also it's going to be a little bit different this time round because in the past, you know, these things have happened really at critical junctures and uh, have, you know, in certain instances, acknowledged party mistakes and then set the party on a different course. But this time round, you know, it's really about cementing President Xi's credentials ahead of next year's National Congress when he's expected to uh, break with party precedents and uh, begin a third term as Chinese leader. As you say, this meeting is obviously going to set in concrete the historical narrative of Xi Jinping's rule, but it's been held in secret. And is there any idea as to what else is going to be discussed? Yeah, well, that's very difficult to say because these things are shrouded in mystery. It's being held at a military hotel here in Beijing and it's heavily guarded. We don't know the ins and outs of what they talk about. And when I say they, we're, we're talking about uh, party leaders. Uh, we're talking about military chiefs as well as heads of the state-owned enterprises as well. They, they, uh, they're going to be talking about a range of different things, but essentially it, it, it's, it's about uh, setting new policy, uh, new laws and regulations, and as I say, uh, setting China on a future path. And so we'll hear a communique at the end of it, which will be an edited version of what's discussed over the next four days. Patrick, for reporting there from Beijing, thank you.